Good morning, Facebook, and good morning, Mighty One Worship Center. Uh, my name is Derek Watley. I'm the pastor of Mighty One Worship Center here in Waco, Texas. And I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time today to encourage you, um, because I know right now um, the adversity that we're facing, I know it has the ability to create fear, to create panic, to, to create worry. But I want to come today and, and, and encourage you for a few moments. And uh, if I had to say that there was one thing that throughout history has never changed, it's this one thing. It's that the one thing that never changes is change. <laughs> and I know that sounds weird, but the reality is, is that everything is always changing. There's never an end to change. Um, I can tell you currently right now, things are changing so fast that it's very difficult for you and I to even keep up. I can tell you what, what, was, what was valid an hour ago is totally different now. There have been meetings after meetings after meetings and change is constantly coming for you and I. I can tell you hour by hour, things are changing. Discoveries are being made about the coronavirus, confirmed cases are being multiplied, jobs are being lost, wages are being cut, um, businesses are just simply closing. Things are changing hour by hour. And the thing that makes change so difficult for you and I is this, we like to be in control. Well, Pastor, are you calling me a control freak? Well, yeah, I am calling you a control freak, and I'm calling myself a control freak. We struggle with that. That's what makes change so difficult for you and I, is that we like to be in control. But I want to encourage you on something. I believe God has given us a gift. He has given you and I, mankind, he has given you and I the ability to adapt to change. You may not see that as a gift, but I see that as a beautiful thing, the ability for you and I to adapt to change, because the reality is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And God has given us the ability to adapt to change simply so we won't continue to do the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. I want to read a scripture to you. It's in 1 Corinthians, and it's chapter 9, and it's verse 22 through 23. And I'm reading out of the NIV version, and it says this, To the weak I became weak, to win the weak. I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means I might save some. I do all of this for the sake of the gospel that I may share in its blessings. What Paul is simply saying to you and I is this. He, he's, he's talking about the concept of adapting to change. He's simply saying, no matter who I'm speaking with, I have the ability to change. I have the ability to adapt to change to that person or that individual. When his environment changed, he had the ability to adapt to that change. Guess what? You and I, our environment has most definitely changed. It is no longer the same. So that requires you and I to be able to adapt to that change. Well, some might say, well, Pastor, how do I adapt to this change? Well, I, I, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. So this is what I would tell you. The way that you and I have the ability to adapt to changes, we've got to change the way that we think. We've got to take a step back. We've got to take a step back and evaluate the situation. And we've got to make the best out of the situation we're in. And what I mean by that is we've got to be content in the state that we're in. Let me read another scripture to you real quick. It's Philippians 4, and it starts at verse 11. And it's the Apostle Paul once again, and he says, I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. And then he says this in verse 13. He says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. See, Paul is trying to explain to us that the way that you and I have the ability to adapt to change 
is simply by being content in whatever state we find ourselves in. If it's in want, that we're content. If it's in plenty, that we're in, that we're content. And the word content doesn't mean that I'm settling for less. It's understanding that I don't have control over the situation and I need to be content in that situation. Let me tell you, I would love to be able to go in the store right now and just simply buy a package of toilet paper. But guess what? I can't do that right now. And you know what? I don't have any control over that. My environment has changed. And I have to understand that I don't have control over it and be content in whatever state that I'm in. Regardless of what's going on, regardless of what I'm facing, I have to be content in whatever situation I find myself in. And that's the way that you and I will be able to adapt to change. It's the only way that we're going to be able to adapt to change. I've had conversations with parents here most recently, and they are saying, Pastor, I, I, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. This is day four, and I'm at home with my child, and I am about to strangle my child. I, I get that, but you and I have to be able to make the best out of this opportunity. You and I have to do everything within our power. This is not the time for you and I to be in fear, to be in panic, to be in worry, because the reality is, is that you and I cannot control the external circumstances that we're facing right now. The only thing we can do, the only thing we can do is adapt to the change that's happening in front of us every single day. The change that's taking place every morning when we wake up, we have to make the best out of that situation. Your kids are at home with you now. Guess what? You have to make the best out of that situation. You have to make the best out of that time with your spouse. You have to make the best out of those moments that you have with yourself now. You and I have to do everything that we possibly can to adapt to change. Right now is the time for the Church of Jesus Christ to stand up and declare the word of God and declare how good God is to you and I. Because let me encourage you, God loves you and I, he is with us, and he is for us. And the Bible declares that if God be for me, who can be against me? So I, I understand that COVID-19 is real. The impact it's having on the economy, it's real. But I also understand how powerful my Jesus is and how powerful he is in the lives of you and I. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that this too shall pass. I know this is a season and this too shall pass. And while we're in this season, you and I are going to have to do everything within our power to adapt to change. And the way that we're going to be able to do that is if we find content in whatever state that we're in. Okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to pray with me, okay? Father, this day, I thank you. I thank you because you are God Almighty. I thank you because you are with us through this entire process. You are with us as we wake up. You are with us as we sleep. You are with us as we're going to work. You are with us through this entire thing. And I know that the Bible declares that there's nothing greater than your name. That includes COVID-19. I declare and I know that your power is greater than all. And Father, today I come to you in complete trust, in complete trust that you are in control and that you are looking out for me. I know that you love us, that you're with us, and you're for us. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that this too shall pass. So today, God, I acknowledge who you are. I trust who you are, and I declare that you are great in spite of my circumstances. I love you, and I bless you in Jesus' name. Facebook, I hope today has encouraged you. I only wanted to take a few moments of your time. God bless you. I love you, and have a great day.